Hello YouTube, I'll be doing a video tutorial today on setting up a bungee cord server. First of all, you need to come to this website to download bungee cord jar. After that, I'd like you to create a folder and name it anything you want and create another folder, another three folders in this. One of the folders should be bungee cord, where you place your bungee cord jar file there. Then, I'd like you to enter this code, which I'll be getting for you, Nana, from my other server. And guys, I'll be making a video tutorial on how to mod Minecraft 1.7.2 on my next video. You'll say, I'll come to edit. Then, I'd like you to copy this code in copy this code I'll be including every website and these codes in the description and then I'd like you to say new file and then just name it anything you want I'd like you to go inside and paste the code there say save as Set run dot bat in quotes. Save file tab as all files. Save. Close. Close the text. You can delete the text document. And then you'd run the batch file. On the first run, it will be downloading some files. And after it's done downloading, you'll see listening on slash 0, 0 comma zero comma zero at port two five five seven seven I'd like you to close the window now go into a configuration files come here come here play limit set it to anything you want in our case we'll be setting it to 20 listeners maximum players we'll set it to 20 full back server will be our lobby you can change your MOTD to anything you want. In our case, we'll be making it into the lobby. Will be lobby. Our bungee MOTD would be YouTube. To you tube. And then I'd like you to add another server by going to servers and then going on a new line and go space twice say hunger games I'd like you to put a colon there and then say address local host at two and your port can be anything it doesn't have to be the same as mine I'm just putting a that as Two five five six six, and then we'll say restricted. We'll say false. And then on the new line, we'd write MOTD. We'd say Hunger Games. After that, I'd like you to go to online mode and say false, and then say exit, save, and then I'd like you to go out of here, and then I'd like you to visit this website to download this Lips Hunger Games jar, and I'd like you to put it into your Hunger Games folder, into your plugins folder here. So what we, I would do is, because I have the plugin, I'd go to my Hunger Games, go to my plugins. You have to have Lips Hunger Games in order for that both of these to work. And you also should have Lips MC PvP because Hunger Games won't work alone. And I'd like you to copy, I'll copy these and I'll paste them here. And after that's done. You'll see by the lobby is the 
is what we have set up in the previous video and I'd like you to please check that out and then after that we close this we close notepad we would open bungee cord we'd run it then we'll go to hunger games we'll first check if our s server is up our server name is unknown server so you can change this to anything in our case I'll say YouTube and then online mo mode is false so we are, we are okay with that and then I'd like you to go to your lobby server and check if it's online mode is set to false and then the server name you can set to anything you'd like after that you can save that and you can run the servers I'd like you to go into your minecraft come here it'll say edit local host at 25577 it join server while it's loading we'll check if everything is right as we can see right now everything is right the only reason okay we'll say done we'll say login one two three four um, you you have to register first at your server, but I'm only saying login because I've already um, played on the server in the previous video. So then I'd like you to do slash server, and then you can do slash server Hunger Games. and that will tele teleport you to your hunger game server it'll take me a while to load because i have an old computer and the ram isn't too good and then what we'll do is we'll say back to game we'll right click on the f with the feather After that you can select your kit but you need at least two people to play. And then there's all your kits. So basically you've already set so basically you set up your own Minecraft Buck Bungie server. Um that's it. Thank you.